Hello and welcome back to another how-to video with the Oxbridge Public Library. Today we will be showing you how to make coil baskets using a really easy weaving technique. These baskets are so easy and can be made anywhere and out of any rope-like material. To begin, you will need one rope about 5 to 10 feet in length. In this project, we're using twine. And you will also need some yarn. Tape is also a must-have in this project. The last thing that you will need is some form of large needle or cotter pin that we will be weaving in between each layer. To begin, you're going to take your string and make sure that you can tape off any tapered or unfurled edges. Here we're just going to cut off the access. So to begin, we're going to take our one end of our rope. It can be any color of rope because we are going to be covering it with either twine or yarn. We're going to take our twine and we're going to stretch it to about a yard. First, we're going to take our cotter pin If you have any needles that can fit large rope or twine or yarn, that would work best as well. We're going to fish it through on the one end. And we're going to take about a yard worth of string. Here we're going to line it up with our rope and hold it so it's about a thumb's length. Our next process is we're going to be taking our string and start wrapping it around the rope. Here we're taking quick little gestures pulling towards ourselves and over top of the rope. So it's going to go over, under, over and under until you get a nice line of coil. Here we're going to continue this about one to two centimeters long. Then we're going to start curling it in on itself. Once you make this circle, you're going to want to continue to wrap your rope around it and make sure that it's nice and tight. Then you're going to take your needle, bring it under, and you're going to push it through the center. This will make sure that it's reinforced and will stay in place when we continue to wrap our coil. Then we're going to continue to wrap around. To reiterate, here we have a couple centimeters of already wrapped rope. We're going to make sure that it's tight and we're going to push this in to form a circle. Here we're taking our twine, wrapping it around the first, the very start of our rope. We're going to pull it tight. Then we're going to take our needle and fish it through that loop that we just created. You're going to pull it tight until it wraps around the one edge on the very side. With this process, you're going to want to hold 
the rope with your left hand and continue the spiral with your right hand. Here you're gonna continue it about 10 to 12 loops each time. And then we're gonna continue with this spiral by pulling it over to the edge and fishing our needle through the center once more. We're doing it just once and then continuing our coil. Once you've continued, just remember to make sure to count each loop as you go so it looks even. Here I'm doing it about 12 loops each time. Once I'm done, I'm fishing it through the next coil. And then you just continue the process. Once you've made about two coils here, you're just going to be wrapping your needle through the first coil that you see. It will start stacking up and you'll be able to see that each one will make one little line. At the beginning, you'll notice you'll run out of string. Here, you take off your needle, grab the desired yarn that you would like, fish through the needle once more. Then you're gonna take your one end and make sure that it lines up with your first one. These two remaining strings will be wrapped underneath the coiling string. So here we're going over and under, right over top of those two strings. And we're gonna continue this process until they're completely covered. Here I'm fishing my needle through on the coil just underneath the one. And then I'm gonna continue that process, making sure they're all pressed tightly and neatly up against the rope. Once you feel like you've made a big enough base, we're going to continue this coil so that it ends up rotating upward and creating a wall of our bowl. Here as we wrap it, we're going to press it just right over top of the one coil so it creates a 90 degree angle. Push our needle through. And just make sure that it's tight and rotating. Once more, I'm pulling my needle through and just making sure that it's pressed upwards at a 90 degree angle. Once you have created a lip, it should be easier to continue your coil basket all the way up. Making sure that they're becoming linear. As you can see, we've created a wall that will continue all the way up. The best part about this is you can choose whatever size you'd like. Here I'm going to continue with another color. So I'm going to grab my green yarn and do the exact same thing that we did to connect our previous piece of twine. So again, you're placing the two ends together underneath and wrapping over and under with the appropriate piece of yarn. 
here making sure that all of my coils are nice and even and pressed up against the rope tightly. And then fishing it through once more. Once you've created a bowl that you think you're satisfied with, here we're going to create two little handles for our basket. So we're gonna cut off our access, take off the needle, put the needle on another piece of string, and return back to the twine. Here I'm gonna wrap around three times just to make sure that's secure, and then pull my needle through the previous coiled row just to make sure that it's nice and secure. And then to wrap the handles, I'm gonna go around about 30 times on each side just to make sure that it's completely even. Once I feel like that's centered enough, here I'm going to pull it through again underneath the coil that is just previous to the one before. Making sure that's tight, doing it about four times around each time. Once I've made it to that fourth line, I'm gonna cut off the access and continue with my green. Again, returning to the same amount of coils, 10. Once you've reached that halfway point, we're gonna finish off with our last handle by cutting off the access green and continuing with our twine. Here, just making sure that it's nice and tight up against the green. Wrapping it four times and then fishing our needle through the layer before. Once I think it's even, I'm gonna take my needle once more, fish it through before the row and continue four times. Once you're done and you've run out of rope, here we're going to take our end, leave it just exposed, take our scissors, and cut at an angle to make sure that we can lay it flat up against the previous surface. Making sure our rope is flat will ensure that it looks clean when we wrap it to finish it. I'm just going to continue until I finish the line that I was going. And to finish this thing, here I'm just going to continuously wrap around each edge, making sure that I'm tying it tight up against the first edge and fishing it through the coil. Once I think I've finished all of that and covered all of the white, here I'm going to be weaving it in and out through the layers to finish off the coil. So once I've pulled through, I'm just going to continue to weave it in and out. Then taking my needle and continuing a layer below. This will ensure that your basket does not come undone when you're transporting it or using it, and also uses the remainder of the thread. To finish it off, I'm just wrapping around the bottom coil there of green, and then pushing the remainder of the thread through so it disappears. And there you have it, a finished small basket. 
These things are great for carrying small knickknacks or other things and small plants. To show you how to continue a larger basket, if you run out of your inner rope here, we're just taping the edges of both sides just to make sure that they can connect properly and then wrapping a full piece of tape around it. This will continue the basket's length. Here I've made a much larger basket and just going over each level after I've made the handles. Once again, to reiterate for the finishing part here, we're taking our scissors and just making a diagonal cut in the rope so that it may lay flat. Then continuing my last row of 12, here I'm going to wrap it in and out of the previous row. Taking my needle and wrapping it multiple times will ensure that it won't come undone. I'm going to continue this process until I've run out of twine or until I feel that it's fully secure. Here I'm just going to cut it a little bit, fish my needle through, and there you have it. Two baskets made super easily with yarn and twine. These coil baskets are sturdy and can hold a lot of weight. If you make your basket big enough, they can carry so many things. And here we can use it as a plant base. Thanks everyone for watching, and if you want more content like this, please come back to the Oxford Public Library's YouTube channel.